Why should speaker cables have a minimum length? This question comes from Lee. Oh, doggone it. I cut myself. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just bleeding. Lee in Plymouth, England. Hey, Paul, I live in Plymouth, England, and yes, it's raining. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I bought a name Supernat and high cap for my audio side, running Focal Aria 948, and enjoy being away from those horrible Bowers and Wilkins tweeters. <clears throat> yep, the ones that I don't like. They're just hard and brittle. Uh, anyway, a lot of people like them. One thing I've noticed, name says the speaker cable must be a minimum length of three and a half meters each side. Why is that? Uh, will the universe implode? <laughs> because my cable's only two, two meters each side. Can you explain this other than name selling more speaker cable than people need? Really enjoy your videos, Lee. Well, thank you, Lee. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be bleeding here. Um, hmm. Well, cables of a certain length sound different than cables of a shorter length. So it just may be, I mean, first off, I gotta say right up front, I don't have a good answer. I, I don't find that to be credible. I can tell you that it will sound different. A long set of speaker cables, I mean, I used to have a pair that were like 20 feet, and now I've got a pair that are like two feet, and I don't know meters, I know, what is it? One meter, three feet? Those sound different. And, and there's, you can even see at the, if you if you if you take a 20 foot pair of speaker cables and you put a, you know a different scope between uh, the input and the output of those cables, you will see a difference. There's definitely something going on, and you can easily see that from from an engineering standpoint. So and shorter has less of a difference, and I know that Name, which is a great UK brand. Name for, for many years has had a cult. I mean, they, and they have a lot of pretty crazy ideas. The idea they have uh, cables, if I remember right, I think it's Name that does this, that has mechanical vibration removal dampers on their cables because they don't want the, the cable, the vibration of one piece of equipment uh, transmitting through the cable into another piece of equipment so they're mechanically isolated. And, you know, some of that can get pretty wacky, um, which, what am I talking about? I've got some of the wackiest loudspeakers in the world with the IRS 5s, right? I mean, there's all kinds of wacky stuff around here. So, I, you know, I, I, I'm not making fun of, of wackiness, but name in particular have sort of a cult following and, and it's, you, you either buy into the name thing or you don't. So. You've bought into this name thing, and I'll bet somebody at name can probably suggest that um, the reason why you want to have a specific length of speaker is uh, a speaker cable is because they're using that to enhance the synergy between products. So a longer speaker cable is going to slightly roll off the top end just ever so slightly. It's going to um, mellow out the sound quality of the system ever so slightly so that a very short speaker cable is going to be a little bit clearer, sharper, brighter. And a longer speaker cable is going to be less so in, in, in that same respect. And I imagine that they have said, well, you know, in, in our experience, one this short is going to give you everything you want. This, if it's too short, you're going to get you know, too sharp of a sound. That'd be my guess. But like I say, name is, is very much of a cult sort of thing. So you might consider imploding the universe by doing what they suggest. <laughs> there are some pretty good listeners over at name. All right, thank you for the question. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.